Right, so let's have another look down at the first corner. So this was all pretty standard stuff. Carl, what do you think's going on? I mean, you know, I look at, okay, so Larson look cuts in. Cross vision in, where is he? He's on the inside. Look at that. He's just basically, he's just got it. Okay, so we don't see cross vision in here. Little push, little yeah. off tap from uh, Chicharit and uh, Timurziano. What's cross vision in here? Has he gone in the wall? It doesn't take yeah. much. But All it takes is three oh. kilometers too fast, and boom, you're in and the he's, wall. And he's just been gripped up by the tires, I think, because Timur was close enough maybe to see. Look at Larson, though, with that big recovery from the slide as well. And then poor old Timur, yo, was that damage or was it more uh, that he was distracted and maybe not yeah, in the right gear? It, yeah. yeah. Oh. Shame for cross section in. Carl stuck out there on the track. They're recovering it now. Timur as well, suffering in that one. Extremely great start by uh, Bakarud. A uh, little wheel spin, but he still managed. And he had plenty of time to cut the track while Henson got cut with the little contact. Fortunately for him, it was good, but three wide there. You don't want to see that. Everybody checked out. Everybody was really smart. So it's interesting, Bakarud joked to me from the lead. And by joking from the, you think, oh, well, don't joke from the lead. He joked from the lead because of this man, the number one, the world champion, five out of six this year. Timmy did well to get out in front. Timmy had done a fastest tap of the day, and then backward when it was crucial, he did a fastest tap of the day. And I thought Hanson's joker was good as well, so it wasn't like he made a mistake. No, exactly. And Hanson was so smooth at the exit to take position in front of Christofferson. That was perfect. Great stuff. Brilliant drive by Andreas Backward. He is the fastest man in Q2 so far, and there's just one race left to go. Talk us through this. Very, very impressive start by, by everyone, actually, but when it funnels, somebody has to give up. Solberg was very aggressive under braking, but Loeb was just better position, and that's right here could have been a nightmare, but everybody was extremely smart. Solberg give, give the position to Ekstrom, and it pretty much saved They them. have to, don't they, there? Because uh, you, you have to, uh, at the point where it gets narrow, say we've seen Faust in the wall one side, Demoustier in the wall the other side, you've got to give it up or one of you's going to retire. And, and, and luckily they were sensible enough to give each other enough space. So just about, just about. Sebastian Loeb really pushing in the Peugeot. Fantastic stuff. The nine-time World Rally Champion is the only man other than Johan Christophson to have won an event this year. Can he win here in Canada? He is the overnight top qualifier. Sebastian Loeb, dominant so far this weekend. There you see it, two wins from two sessions. Matthias Ekstrom, P2, the best of the Volkswagens, currently P3, and it's not Johan Christophson this weekend. Timmy Hansen, Kevin Hansen, Niklas Gronholm, Andreas Backward, and Kevin Eriksson are your top eight. Johan Christophson is in P9. Yanis Baumannis, Robin Larson, Gulan Shishrit currently just in. Timmer Timmer's Jan of Carnell think it was a little bit unlucky, along with Jerome Grosjean and Gregoire de Moustier, rounding out our 15 drivers who've made the first long-haul trip of the year.